Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Monday's math lesson. You might notice our hundreds chart looks a little bit different. I thought that we could practice skip counting by five so we don't forget how to do this. All right? So we have our blue numbers, just like we did in class, and we are going to count by fives. Follow along with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120. Great job. Now find that green box and let's figure out what is the mystery number for the day. All right, I hope we all figured out that it was 103. It comes after 102 and before 104. Let's count on from our mystery number. Here we go. 103, 104, 105, 106. Great job. Now let's count on from number 45. Can you find number 45? It has a four in the tens place, so it's somewhere in this row, and a five in the ones place. Oh, it's one of our blue numbers. All right, let's count. 45, 46, 47. Wonderful job. Okay, now we're gonna practice some number writing. So you can pause me and go get some paper or a dry erase board, anything that you have, crayons, pencils, and let's practice writing some numbers together. All right, please write the number 15. What does 15 look like? All right, let's check one in the tens place. And hat back, big belly for the five. I hope yours looks just like mine, 15. All right, let's do another one. Let's write the number 19. What does 19 look like? Let's check our work. One in the tens place and nine in the ones place for 19. Great job. Okay, now let's do 24. What does 24 look like? All right, we've got two in the tens place and four in the ones place for 24. All right, let's do another one. Let's do 37. What does 30? seven look like? Okay, 30, so we have our three, oops, in our tens place, and seven in the ones place for 37. Awesome, let's do another one. Let's do 62. What does 62 look like? 62 has a six in the tens place and a two in the ones place for 62. Great job writing with me today. Okay, our place value practice looks a little bit different as you can see. So what we see up here, let me get my pointer here. We have our thousands place and the thousand block. We have hundreds, tens, and ones, this should look familiar. So what we're going to do is we are going to write our number. How many thousands do I have? I have one, so I would write a one. How many hundreds blocks do I have? One, two, three, that's right, a three. How many tens long sticks do I have? Good, one, two, three, Four, five, six. I have six. 
And how many ones blocks do I have? That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just wrote, or we just wrote together, our big number of the day. Please read that. Okay, let's try it together. 1,367. Awesome job, boys and girls. And remember, we want to stretch out our number into that expanded form. So we are going to write 1,000 down here. And remember, this isn't a three. This is 300, right? Because we're saying 100, 200, 300. This isn't a six. We said 60 when we read our number. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And the one stays as a seven. All right. This is some tricky math, but we are really doing a great job. Okay, so our activity today is something new. We've never done this before, but I know that we can do it because we are so awesome and we're really good at addition and subtraction. This is called fact families. And it looks like a house because all the numbers are like the family, the mom and the dad and the sister and the brother and the grandma and the grandpa and the cousins. They all live in the house. So we are going to write two addition problems with our numbers, two, five, and three. So I'm going to start us off. If I add two plus three, I will equal five. I use my numbers, two, three, and five. Now I'm going to write another addition problem only using the numbers in my house. But this time I'm going to start with three. Three plus two equals five. Because remember, we've talked about with addition, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Okay, now I need to write two subtraction problems. And remember, when we subtract, we're going to start with the biggest number. Our biggest number is five. That's right. So I start with five, and I'm going to take away, I want to take away two. 5 subtract 2 equals 3. I'm only using the numbers in my house. Now I have one more problem. 5 take away 3. Now I'm going to subtract 3 and my answer is 2. So I'm just working with my numbers in my house to make addition and subtraction problems. Okay. Um, the only assignment I'd like you to do today is to practice your skip counting at home. You can take videos of this, counting by ones, by twos, by fives, by tens, any way you'd like to count. Go ahead and practice that at home and show me a video. Thanks for learning with me today.